This week, the American Cancer Society sent this letter to lawmakers urging them to find solutions for a national cancer drug shortage, saying one in 10 cancer patients in treatment has been impacted by the shortage. 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin shares how that shortage is felt in Tampa Bay. This is what it's like to be 26 years old and fighting for your life. Being told by a doctor that you may not be receiving the medication that is prescribed to you to save your life because of a national drug shortage is easily one of the most disheartening things to hear ever. Madison Beloy receives her chemo treatments at Florida Cancer Research, and sometimes they don't have the medicine she needs. My prognosis is five years. You have to fight poison with poison. You have to fight fire with fire in terms of cancer, and so um, it's it's really, really hard. Beloy received her eighth round of chemo on Monday. Carl, this is really hard today. I'm so sorry. It's a taxing process that made finding the words in today's interview tough. You lose such a big part of yourself. And you don't know the parts of yourself that you're going to lose. There are 16 oncology drugs listed as currently in shortage by the FDA. Here at Moffitt, the Cancer Center tells me despite a national cancer drug shortage, they're able to keep their chemo patients' regimens the same. And with new patients with multiple treatment options, they're looking towards drugs that are not currently in short supply. At Moffitt, these three drugs are in short supply but we do need to take steps to, to assure stock. The treatment center likes to keep upwards of a six month supply of these chemo drugs. Right now, they're only able to keep two months worth in their pharmacy. We've actually seen an increase in number of patients that are being referred to us uh, because these outside sites do not have access to the drug. As treatment advocates push for federal help, cancer patients want you to know access to these drugs can be life or death. Cancer patients like myself are so open and so eager to fight for us. It's so unfortunate that we're the ones having to help fight. In Tampa, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. And Moffitt Cancer Center tells us that they have been working closely with suppliers to limit the impact on their patients, as well as patients in treatment facilities. They say they will help as many as their supply allows.